Hi all, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about how to manage lead or opportunity with multi-company setup in Odoo 16. Lead management in multi-company is neither risky task for most professionals. User can maintain opportunity lead in an intercompany made possible through Odoo 16. It is easy to develop lead or opportunities with CRM application in Odoo 16. Operating an intercompany on your system makes the workflow accurate and leads to the business development. The initial step is to generate multiple companies in Odoo 16. We need to develop the necessary companies for the user from the settings window. So let's get in settings and here we can see uh, users and company we can either create the company from here or just drag down under companies we can manage the companies so click on manage companies and currently we can see a default company which is created by Odoo with its company name and under general information you could see its address tax ID company ID everything phone number, mobile number, and all other details like email, website, and Vivicon. Now let's create a new company. For that, let's back to the companies and click on new button in order to create a new company. So let me give the name of the company. Under general information, you can give all other details like address and all. And here you can see the transaction uh, will be done in USD for this company. So as you choose the uh, country for the company, the currency will be automatically updated here. Now you need to give the mobile number, that is phone number. and email So now we have created the company. As you have saved the companies, you can see a field is now visible, which is parent company. So here you can give the parent company uh, of the created company. So you can set the parent company and save this. 
So after uh, the creation of company, now we need to set the users for the company. So we need to man manage the users. For that, you can just move on to the users and companies tab. And here we have an option of users. So you can choo choose the users. Currently, we have two users who are the internal users. Internal users are the people in the organization. So uh, Michelle Edmund is currently the administrator of uh, this uh, company that is your company. So you can choose the com uh, Michelle Edmund as a user. So here we can see a field called my companies. So Odo will automatically configure all the companies uh, that under this database. So currently we have two companies in this database so that all the company is automatically allotted for Michelle Edmund. So here we can see uh, my company and I mean my company and your company is an outed company for uh, uh, Michelle Michelle admin and the default company is your company which can be viewed here. Now, if you want to uh, just uh, deactivate any of the company from the allowed company, you can click on the close mark so that the company will be removed from allowed company. So let me set all the company. Now you can save this. Okay, as you have uh, let the allowed company uh, as my company and your company in this database, you can view the companies. So currently, the uh, default company is your company, which is highlighted in blue color. And if you want to enable both companies in this database, which means if you want to manage both companies under this. Uh, database you can enable both check field so now this database is turned into multi-company setup now let's check how to manage multi-company for leads so for that you can just navigate into crm module so let me generate a lead for uh, one of the company and let's after that we can create lead for multi-company setup so currently I have let the default company as your company and on only managing with that company in this database. So let me create a lead. So in order to create a lead first we need to go to configuration settings and we need to enable uh, leads to add a qualification step before the creation of an opportunity. So as you have enabled this feature you can see in uh, here uh, leads. So let's create lead. Here we can see all the lead details with its uh, name, email, phone number, company, city, country, and sales person and sales team. So let me create a lead. So let the name of the lead be product pricing. And here you can see the probability. You can also choose the customer, which is Emily Peterson. So as you choose the customer, all other details will be automatically configured. And here you can see the probability has changed because uh, uh, we can uh, see uh, like we can make the probability depending on the contact with the customer. So uh, as of that, probability has changed now. Now here you can choose the company. So. If you want to give your company, you can choose that or you can leave this field empty. Now, you can see the salesperson is Michelle Edmund who belongs to the sales team. And uh, here we can give the uh, job position of Abigail Peterson. And here we can set the priority and all. Here we can use tab for filtration purposes. Okay. Now if you want to add any other um, additional property, you can click on plus icon. So let me add. number and here you can uh, change the field okay. 
Okay. So we can add the phone number in order to make contact. Okay. And under internal notes, you can give uh, the internal notes uh, like uh, regarding uh, uh, the lead and under extra info, you can uh, set uh, the email and under marketing, you can see the uh, default company is your company. And if you want to set the campaign medium and all, you can uh, choose that. Source as well as referred by. Now, let me save this. So currently we have created a lead. So let's back to leads and here you can see a lead is created. So currently this lead won't be available in the other country which is in my, my company. I mean uh, other company which is my company. So let me set my company as the default company and let's see will this lead will be available in my company. So let me set default company as my company. So you can see that here we have lead, but uh, the created lead is not available in my company. So if you want to make it available in both companies, you need to enable multi company setup. So let me enable multi company setup and let me create a new lead. So as I have set up the multi-company setup, you can see the created lead is currently available in my company uh, also. And if you go to your company and you are setting your company as the default company, you can see uh, this lead is currently available in your company also. So actually we have generated a product pricing in your company. But as we have set up the multi-company setup, that lead is also available in my, my company. Okay, so this is how we manage leader opportunity for multi companies. So let me choose that and you can click on uh, convert to opportunity if you want to convert this into opportunity. So we can take uh, two uh, conversion action that can be convert to opportunity or we can merge with the existing opportunity. So let me convert to the opportunities and here we can see the assign this opportunity to uh, the salesperson machine admin uh, in sales team. And we can link this to the existing customer because Abigail Peterson is one of the existing customer. So let me cre click on create opportunity so that this is converted. Uh, so if you click on one so that the opportunity is now in one state. So this is how we manage the leader opportunity uh, for a multi-company setup. Now, if you want to get the reporting of that, you can click on reports and go to leads so that you can see the, we can also get the reports of lead and uh, with different lead analysis measures like uh, days to assign, days to close, days to convert, exit closing. So let's choose each of the option. So as you choose each of the option from the measures, you can see the difference like days to convert uh, exceeded closing these expected MRR, expected revenue, prorated MRR and prorated revenue, recurring, recurring revenue and count. And we can also insert this into the spreadsheet and currently this is in its graph view. We have different views like pivot view and uh, list view. And let's back, back to the graph view. Under graph view, we have different uh, graph representations like bar chart, uh, line chart and pie chart. Also we can uh, get the stacked analysis, then cumulative analysis, also descending as well as ascending. And the user can also use sorting functionalities like filter, group by and comparison as well as favorite and search option. So uh, this is how we manage lead or opportunities for a multi-company setup.